This one is a beauty I had to wait a long time to get. Uh, long is relative, of course, but it basically means I didn't have money when it was first released to grab it. And then the good, good people on Pop Shop Live from a little place called 3D Retro got theirs in and immediately sold them on the Pop Shop Live show, and I managed to grab one from them. So let's crack it open and see what this beautiful Sank Toys Faded Away Sank looks like. The inevitable box within a box. And this piece is definitely gonna fall into the category of sculpture versus designer art toy, in my opinion. This sucker is heavy. And it's massive. It says there on the side, it all fades away in the end. It's the same on the other side. And on the back, that's funny, it has a little 3D retro price sticker on it, even though they immediately sold it. Too funny. And it still has that Sink Toys little sticker dot in the corner telling you what color it's gonna be. It's looking like a beautiful blue, my friends. Ooh, fancy packaging. I mean, styrofoam's not so fancy, but it protects the piece. It's this strap, this little Velcro strap that I'm interested in. And of course, the COA card that comes with it. Oh, I was thinking this was gonna be gorgeous. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I've got number 330 out of 399. So that's quite a big run for such a giant piece. But yeah, I'm coming in at the tail end of it for sure. So the strap looks like it's gonna be our lifting mechanism. And even the styrofoam has the sink logo on it. as evidenced right there. Little hole in the back. Ah, I see. So it's gonna come in a few pieces and we're gonna put it together right here. They are wedged in pretty good, so I figured let's grab the base first. It feels like a giant chonkin' piece of metal. This definitely makes me think of Assassin's Creed, the latest Valhalla game. If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about, where there's that virtual environment that shows up within the game. All these pixels coming off. Little peg hole right on the top there. And on the bottom, that's pretty cool. There's a little sink plate, and there's this crushed velvet and four pegs or foam posts in the corner. That's really nice. Up next, we have the child himself, maybe. Wow. I've never had any of the Sink sculptures before, so this is a first for me, but wow. Beautiful details on it. Whew. That fade away, that is gorgeous. Not only is it coming off the back of the helmet, the back, the body, the coat is missing some pixels and adding some they're fading out. The shirt, the pants, the shoes. Ugh. And there's this gloss right there on the helmet on each of the portholes. Is that what we would call them? It's magnificent. The multi-toned approach to the paint job. Funny enough, no Sank logo? Yeah, none on the guy himself like you would normally expect from the regular pieces. And there's that foot peg that we're gonna pop right into the corner of the post. I love the detailing on the hands too. Oh, that's beautiful. Go ahead and put him in. So matching with the way that the, the pixels are flying off, I assume we're gonna post him right here. Ooh, there's a magnetic snap on that other foot, wow. Ah. Such a satisfying click, but I'm sure it's like paint rubbing together, so I should probably stop that. It's beautiful, it holds it right in place. A little wobble on the foot, but magnets, that'll do the job. And lastly, the signature plumage to come off the helmet. 
two-toned approach going on here too, some black slash gray streaking going on, and you still have this pixelation effect taking place with a giant plug for the helmet right there too. Whew, it's the best plumage I've seen yet. But again, I haven't had any of the other sculptures, so. Wow. Beautiful. All right, let's finish it off. Pop it in the helmet. There's gonna be a magnet right inside that peg at the bottom, because it looks like inside the, the top of the skull where it's kind of broken out. It's looking like there's a magnet right there. Let's see if it clicks. Oh yeah, it kind of just fell right in there. There is like a little cratering effect taking place right inside that hole. Or outside the hole, I should say. Gorgeous. Ooh, yeah. This thing is huge. It's the tallest thing I have. Gorgeous, though. But yeah, that is the faded away blue Sank sculpture from Sank Toys. Let's go ahead and see if weight-wise I can actually give it a spin. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.